This book means so much to us as educators and as clinicians. And the story as to how the book came about is one day I was thinking how much time is wasted learning physical assessment techniques that are never used in clinical practice. And this got me thinking, what is the evidence behind some of these techniques that we're teaching students? And it led us on this journey to find out what is supported by the evidence. And who knew that many of our standard exam techniques are not supported by the evidence? For example, auscultating for bowel sounds, not evidence-based. Doing a fundoscopic exam in primary care, not evidence-based. So if you're interested in learning more, consider our book, Evidence-Based Physical Examination, Best Practices for Health and Wellbeing Assessment.